we have I have with me a very uh, interesting panel. Yeah, guy uh, Chekwi again is a very interesting character. He's won an award. Huh? He's won a very interesting award, and that's called an award for conscious business. So LinkedIn chose five people across Asia Pacific, and he's one of them. All these wonderful tools that's coming on board, after all, are tools. If we do not have a consolidated alignment on what we need these tools to do to be beneficial to us, we'll be going chasing after the next cool tool again and again. I only go in with two agenda. Number one, sell the benefit, if not, bring in the competition. I don't talk about an online fouling system. I don't go in and can get shot down because there is no value proposition when I go to talk to a business leader. What's the ROI? What's the return? How does it benefit me? So the point that I'm trying to bring across is that be it in a multinational company or be it in a startup, at the end of the day, when you meet your business clients, when you meet your business leaders who make decisions, you have to support them. You have to stay relevant. And how you do it, bring in the competition, bring in intelligence. And if these tools, the technological tools, can help you to bring in that game, leverage your game, bring in the benefits, the competition, I think it's a good tool to use. What is that one challenge that leadership needs to really, you know, take up and stand behind to, to drive this digital transformation? It all boils down to setting the tone right from the very top. When your CEO of the company says, let's do it, behave it in that manner, lead by example, and everyone else will follow. Two or three things that you think people in HR can really do to really bring the sense of urgency, getting competition, and you know, uh, how, what can we do there? What is the unique value proposition that you have to offer when you propose the purchase of a particular software? What exactly you are trying to solve? A lot of time vendors, and my apologies to vendors who are here, okay. <laughs> vendors will tell you all the wonderful features that it can do for you. But the truth is, does it really be contextualized in your own needs? So as a HR practitioner, you have to come in with your value proposition, what exactly this has given you that unique value proposition. So yes, it's interesting of all those wonderful features, but do you really need them for the long-term agenda that you have for your company? The message I'd like to bring across is this. If you hear all these wonderful talks this morning and from these two gentlemen, you hear there's a demand for divergent thinking. We are redundant is this new thinking. If we continue to stay not learning and not developing ourselves. So my only advice from practitioner to a fellow practitioners with all of you today is to, if you don't have that skill set, buy it borrow it or bag it from engineering or IT. Um, so whether you buy, borrow, bag, all boils down to being aware. You have to be business conscious. You have to be aware of the situation that we have to be relevant. Thank you.